For the construction of the air aluminum battery, you're going to need the following. So we have uh, about a 10 centimeter strip of aluminum foil. It's about it's double folded uh, and uh, double thickness, uh, about one centimeter uh, in width. Uh, this will be our anode for our air aluminum battery. Uh, we have a section of graphite uh, that will be the cathode. We have saturated sodium chloride solution. That's going to be our electrolyte and we're going to soak these sponges uh, with the sodium chloride and then we're going to assemble everything in one of these 3D printed PLA clips uh, to hold everything together. Uh, so uh, we have our, our anode, our cathode, and our electrolyte uh, and that's going to get us everything that we need. And here I've got three setups that I could make three, electrical uh, three electrochemical cells with. Uh, I'll actually make more than three, but I just wanted to uh, kind of show you how you can do this like an assembly line. And after we've made uh, one cell, we can test its voltage on the multimeter, and then we make a second cell, hook them together in series, and then we can test that voltage, and so on. I'm going to add some sodium chloride to this compressed uh, sponge. Uh, now, one of the things about this, uh, this blue paper, I wouldn't recommend uh, putting paper down when you do this activity with high school students. I'm simply using uh, the blue paper as a uh, contrast uh, for the, the video. Uh, I'm putting the paper towel down to hopefully minimize making a mess. So all I'm doing is I'm taking some of my saturated sodium chloride solution and adding it to a sponge and of course this compressed sponge is now it's going to start to grow. The students will get sodium chloride solution everywhere so just be ready for that uh, to uh, wipe everything down uh, at the end. And just a little bit more. Okay, so my sponge is damp and uh, should be sufficient. I can always add a little bit more sodium chloride to it. To assemble my battery, okay, I just put the sponge in like this, take the graphite, place it on one side, take the aluminum foil, and basically seat it in here on the opposite side. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. In fact, you, you want the ends of the graphite and aluminum sticking out. And so now I have my first electrochemical cell. So we have the anode, the aluminum. Our electrolyte media is the sponge. Uh, the sodium chloride is the electrolyte. Uh, and then we have our graphite. Uh, over on the opposite side. And so now uh, we can start testing uh, voltage. So I have a multimeter. So I set that uh, voltage setting to 20. And you can see right there, let me switch terminals. I'm producing uh, 0.89 uh, volts. And I could add a little bit more sodium chloride and that might improve the voltage, but uh, you should get the idea that uh, now we have a working battery. And what we need to do is make more of them and then connect them in series uh, to light up our LED. So I'm going to pause the video, make some more cells, and then put them all together.